Hi guys, Random here, back with a bit more World of Warships. Thought today might be a good day to show you the Yabari. Now the Yabari is a tier 4 premium ship. Uh, let's have a look and see what it's got. 18,300 hit points. It has 12.8 firing range, 2 by 240. So it only has 4 barrels. Not a lot. Secondary armament, it's got uh, one 120 mm secondary gun, which frankly probably isn't worth a look. Uh, torpedoes, it's got a 6k range, which isn't bad, and it's got 2x2 610s, uh, which are centrally mounted, I believe, yes. So you can fire four torpedoes out of either side. Um, this is where it excels. And um, when I say Excel, I mean this is its best point. It's got anti-aircraft cover, which at tier 4 is pretty unusual. Um, rudder shift is pretty good. Maximum speed 35.2. Concealment is also uh, reasonable. With a 9.9 .9 detectability. Um, and you're able to fire out to 12.8. So you can sneak attack people, but you've got to get close to use the torps. So that's the Yabari. Now, I haven't had many battles in this, um, in fact I've had none at all since it went open beta, so I was waiting to get back up to tier 4, uh, we're at tier 4 now, so we'll take the Yabari out. Uh, if you look against the Kuma, um, basically you've got better manoeuvrability, better concealment and better AA, uh, but you're worse for hit points, worse for main guns, and the torpedoes are not as good. But, meh, let's see how we do. So let's have a look at the Yabari, shall we? Let's see how we do. Okay, what, what do we got on our team? Got a Kuma. We could go and work with a Kuma if he's nearby, couldn't we? He's over there. Yeah, he's not too far away. We'll go and work with the Kuma, uh, but I don't want to go too far away from the um, carriers because they will need aircraft cover. And I'm reasonably quick, so what I'd like to do is I'd like to stay out sort of in the middle somewhere so we can try and give some cover to the uh, carriers let's let them know CVs will try to give AA cover Let's hope they don't split up. Where's that South Carolina going? If he was staying in a straight line, we'd be fine. There we go. So let's keep an eye on our guys in the Hosho and the Zuiho. Because they haven't got very much in the way of fighters. Now we have a fighter squadron coming in over this way and a torpedo squadron. So let's see what we can do. So I think it's control and then click on them. Which is going to be the biggest problem for us. Probably him. Now which way is he coming? He's coming straight down the map, isn't he? So he's... So can't cover you if so far apart, series. Let's let them know. 
and we'll make this our priority. Hopefully our guns will start opening up on it. There we go, we've got a phoenix over there as well. Okay, and we're starting to open up on him. Thing is, he'll be concentrating on the carrier. Whereas, what we want to do is take down some of those planes if possible. We got one. Got another one. So let's say hello to him. We need to do some manoeuvrising. Okay, so we've taken out two of the uh, torpedo bombers, which is good. You know, obviously more would be better, but we landed short, we landed long. I think we we're about on target. Nice. try and take down what we can. Got a hit on him there. Hopefully we'll start getting some support back here because we're going to need it. Uh, he's firing. This guy's pretty, pretty good. I mean he's on fire so he's not having a good day. But we'll keep moving around as much as we can. Did we get a hit on him? Yes, we did. And we've taken out his propulsion. So he should slow down. Hopefully we can get some shots on this little squadron here. And we'll, he's going to hit the map board at any second. Ugh, these people. Honestly, kite them over me. I can shoot them down. Could we kill this guy? If we hit him, we might. Uh, he's going along the uh, border there. Right, come on, open up on these. Honestly, these people. I don't know if he got torped. Could be there's a destroyer. No, there's no destroyers. He's on fire. He's going to die anyway. Okay, right. So we'll give him up as a lost cause. and we'll head over to the other carrier. Uh, we've got a phoenix over there, but our guns are pointing the wrong way.
Okay, let's see how we do. Let's see how we do. Right. Hopefully we can keep. Let's knock the uh, the speed down a bit. Hopefully we can keep these guys safe. Hopefully. Let's let know. Uh, if you get fighters on you, come towards. Me and I will help. There we go. So we're just kind of patrolling the back of the ship, or back of the map rather. Um, but it's an effective tactic. It lets our carriers survive a bit longer, and if they can survive a bit longer, they can shoot more stuff down, uh, blow more stuff up, and help, basically, in all the ways. So this chap is cruising along. We don't want to go too quick. We're keeping open eyes for any ships that might be coming his way as well as aircraft so we should be pretty good and we've shot down three aircraft which meh isn't a million granted but it's not too bad so this chap's got the right idea. Stick with an escort. Yeah, it looks like their final ships are going to be up north. Uh, what have we got? We've got eight minutes left on the game, so Let's head a bit further north. And we've just seen all these coming in. Okay. So we're far enough away. Okay, so you are my priority target you're going to be coming down this way they're too far away for me to help those planes are going to appear in a minute just over here I would think Know where he's going. Are you turning? There we are. Look, you. Come on, oh, you can do it. There we go, they're in range now.
Yes. So it works if you work together. His plane's got some. I got some. I think I took down two or three. He took down the others. And that stopped any torpedo bombers coming through. Yeah. Yeah, I know he's going off to the map border there, so he needs to be careful. Alright, we've got last of their torpedo bombers coming in by the look of things. Probably taking it a bit personal, I would think. Let's see if we can... Right, we've only got two torpedo bombers to worry about, so it's really not that much. Uh, we've got a fighter squadron over here. Let's see if we can help them out. That's it, just come back to me. Here we go. Uh, he's flying away because he knows he's going to get chewed up if he comes down here. Right, we've only got four minutes left on this game, so we need to be a bit more aggressive now. Okay. Uh, you see we've got fighters there there he is oh nice okay it looks like he's flooding or burning because he's losing health The Langley there. He's down. They've only got two ships left. One's over there. And got the Langley. Langley's down. Good job. Right. Let's see if we can do something other than shoot planes down. Although to be fair. Shooting planes down is pretty good. I like it. It's got a Klongo class battleship left. Right, bring him over, mate. Bring him over, mate. That's it. Good lad. shots on the Congo. Hopefully my guns will start opening up on those fighters. There's only a couple left so it's not too bad. Let's see if we can get some hits on him. It'd be nice to get a few hits. Only less than two minutes of the game left now. Yes, hit him. <laughs> we should 
There we go, he's down. We win. Nice. So we did well. I'm not expecting, yeah, not expecting a huge amount of XP. Because um, you don't get anything for looking after your carriers. I mean, we've got the Guardian mission. Um, but, meh. You know, that's what, 35,000 credits? So that's a big chunk of what we got there. <coughs> um, and you don't really get much in the way of XP. So we took down five planes in total, uh, which is almost as much as one of the cam carriers. Um, you know, this guy, he sunk four boats, which is awesome. And we've got detailed report here. HE shell hits next to nothing. You know, really not worried in the least. Um, it's all good. It's all good. We did well. We protected our folks and uh, yeah did okay so yeah that's the Yabari that's the Yabari strength um, it's not it's not a great ship for going in and battling you've only got two two barrel turrets um, yeah okay they fire reasonably quickly and they're not too bad for distance but they're not big turrets uh, they're only 140 millimeter so yeah um, I would use it as an aircraft cover ship and I would use it like that and I think that works quite well keeps your carriers in the fight and as you can see there that guy sunk four of their ships I think he'd have only got half of that if I hadn't have been there to help him um, so yeah playing the team game in the Yabari thank you ever so much for watching guys I hope you enjoyed it a little bit different I know to me scuttling around trying to stink stuff but uh, shows the tactics of the game so yeah anyway enough from me thank you ever so much for watching guys for now it's random signing off take care catch you again soon